the webinar. Uh, my name is Emilio Sacerio. I'm going to be doing the presentation today. I'm the product development engineer here at XTS Corp. This presentation is going to be about our new DVR and cameras, high definition cameras. Let's begin with the presentation. Okay, um, this DVR the, is called HDS. What HDS means is that those DVR cameras are going to be capable of using high definition videos through an analog, analog cable. Just go back. So it's going to support 1080p resolution, a quasi cable, 50 frames per second. It's going to support 300 meter cable using an RG59 cable. This DVR is also going to support 200 meter using CAD5. It's also going to support 250 meter using CAD6. It's going to support 8 channel, 16 channel. To hard drive with unlimited capacity, so you're gonna you're gonna be able to use eight terabyte, six terabyte per channel or more. It support lock and unlock of files. What that means is that if you have an important video that you want to save and you don't want the DVR to delete it, you can lock it and save it on the hard drive, and the DVR won't erase that video. The DVR support one administrator and 63 users per DVR. It also support QR code. What that means is that if you wanna, if you want to to see the video on your phone, all you have to do is take a picture of the QR code from the DVR, and that's it. You don't have to open any network port. You don't have to set up any server or anything like that. It's all pro and play. You don't have to worry about anything. This DVR is also going to support DVD burner, extend or DVD burner, which means that you can plug any any USB DVD to the DVR and burn videos, like backup videos, also pictures. It supports remote configuration by phone, by the CMS, and also on the PC. Which that means is that on the phone, you're going to be able to set up recording, a schedule, a video quality, everything. On this new DVI, you're going to be able to do all that using the same application on the iPhone and also on the Android. That was not available on the previous generation of DVR. On this one, thanks to the HDS technology, we're going to be able to, to do all that from the phone. It support 128 preset and eight cruises. Support iPhone and Android, as I told you before. It support dual string, which means that you can have a string number one for recording and a string number two for for real time monitoring. It support NAT network address translation. What that means is that you can use you don't have to use the router to see the the DVR from another computer. All you have to do is, if you wanna, if you need to see the, the DVR, let's say for example from another country, we have a website that we we develop. All you have to do is go to that website, put the the username, the password, and the serial number of the DVR, and you're gonna be able to see the DVR from that website without touching your router or the port or anything like that. It support uh, two-way audio with the CMS. You can do bi-directional audio using the DVR and the CMS. It's plug and play. You don't have to do any configuration. All the cameras are pre-configured from from our manufacturer here at STS Corp. And you don't have to worry about any setup or any setting, anything like that. Everything is going to be plug and play. This is the live view preview of the DVR. As you can see here, it supports different colors by the type, by the type of recording that the DVR is doing on that moment. For example, if the DVR has a yellow, it means that it's recording motion detection. If it is blue, 
it means it's a scheduled recording. And if it is green, it's manual recording. It also supports alarm, alarm uh, but this DVR, the, the only thing it supports is motion. It doesn't support external alarm, like a door or contact or anything like that, it doesn't. This is the main menu of the DVR. As you can see, you have multiple options here. You have setup, search, backup, information, hard drive, upgrade, log off, and shutdown. As you can see on the menu, it's, it's a new menu. It's a new interface. This DVR is using a different platform that, the, that our previous DVR. And this platform is called, as I told you before, HDS. So everything on this DVR and our new MVR and also the cameras is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be the same menu, same options, same CMS, same application, exactly the same. So that way it's going to be easier for you to integrate, to set up, and to manage all the DVR and MVRs under the same platform. This is the basic setup. As you can see, it's really basic. You have to name of the device, the video format that you're going to use on the monitor, the NTP settings, the video output, and the language. We support almost all language available right now on, on the world. The quantity of users. In this case, the DVR support five users online at the same time. This is the live setting of the camera. It supports camera name, recording status, so you can turn on and turn off the camera and the recording. It supports up to three video masks per camera. These are the recording settings of the DVR. In here, you can set up the resolution, the frame per second, the encode, the quality, the bitrate, the audio. In this case, you can record audio, but just in one channel, in channel number one. So if you if you need a camera to record audio, you have to put that camera on channel number one. That's the only channel that is going to support audio with HDS. These are the recording settings. The other correct settings, here you have a stamp. A stamp is like a watermark. So you can put, you can t tell the DVR to record the name of the camera and also the day and time. So when you're doing a playback, you can see the, the name of the camera, the day and time on the video. It also support the, set, the position, so you can move the name. If you don't want the name to be on the right corner, you can move it to the to the left corner, or you can put it on the middle of the screen. You can do all that by using these settings right here. This is a scheduled recording for motion, and also for, for manual recording. In here, you can have a scheduled recording per channel, per day. You can have a dedicated motion schedule per day and channel. The motion holding time, this is the the the, the time that is going to hold the motion. Let's say 10 seconds. If you want the DVR to hold that alarm for 10 seconds, you just put 10 seconds and it will hold the alarm. And then after 10 seconds, it will reset and will start all over again. It supports email, email alarm, booster alarm, a snap alarm, PTC trigger, in case of an alarm, and to record a specific channel in case of an alarm. These are the alarm settings. As you can see here, it supports video loss. You can also do trigger by video loss. So let's say, for, a, for example, you have a dome camera on channel number one and a PTC on number two. If I, if you lose the video of channel number one, you can tell the channel number two camera, the PTC, to look 
at the position of channel number one and see why it lost the video. You can do all that in this page right here. It also supports alarm by the disk, disk full. It supports IP conflict. It will let you know when there is an IP conflict on the DVR. Disconnect, disk attenuation, and disk lost. These are the network settings. As you can see here, it's very basic. There is no, no those weird configurations or anything like that. It's really basic. DHCP is support DHCP. It support the soft thing that I was telling you about. Right here are the settings. The frame per second, the encoder string. In here, you can set up the email that you want to receive the not notification of an alarm. You can set up up to three emails to receive the not notification. And after that, you can test the network. You just click on the button it says test. And you can test the email to see if it works properly. And if it doesn't work, it will let you know and you can fix it. Here are the other settings for the network. Here we have a new feature, which is called Server Auto Report. What Server Auto Report does is that you just put the IP address of the CMS in here. So if in a future, let's say a week or a few days, the, MV, the DVR change the IP address, it will automatically tell the CMS the new IP address and it will connect again. So that way you won't lose connection and you won't lose video because it will keep the CMS and the, and the DVR link. We also support NAT, as I told you before. All you have to do is go to this website right here, put the username, serial number of the DVR, and your password, and it will connect to the DVR without using any port on the router and without touching the router. It also supports P2P, which is the, the setting for the phone. You just take the picture of the, of the QR code, and you can add the video to the phone without touching the router or anything like that. It supports UPnP, Universal Plug and Play. This is what allows you to access the DVR from outside your network without touching your router or the setting of your router. All that is thanks for this setting right here, the UPnP. As you can see, you can turn it on or turn it off right here. This is a user platform right here. In here, you can add users. As I told you before, it support one administrator and 63 users per DVR. It support binding PC Mac. So in this case, you can block, you can no block, you can tell the DVR that only user number one, for example, can access the DVR from that specific MAC address. So in if this case, if that user tries to do to access a DVR from another computer, it won't work. It will give you an error and it won't work. It supports, as I told you before, five users online at the same time. This is the PTC controller. In here, you can have 128 presets and eight cruises. Support multiple communication protocol. Support PERCO P, PERCO D, all those standard protocols, support PTC track, and support simulative cruise, which that does is that if your camera doesn't support cruise, you can force the camera through the DVR to do it, even if the camera doesn't support it. You can force the camera to do it thanks to, the, to this feature right here. This is the, like the block and allow list. This is to block a specific IP address on a range of IP address. So if you don't want 192, 68, 02 to access the DVR, all you have to do is block that IP address and no one from that IP address will be able to connect to the DVR. Or you can allow an IP address to connect. So that way you can control who can access the DVR and from where. This is the search and playback. 
menu of the of the DVR. It supports H channel playback, support search by time and date, even search, file lock and unlock for the video and image, and support pictures. So in this case you can see the pictures of the alarm or the pictures you took manually. This is the backup, the backup menu. In here you can do USB backup. You can do backup on HDS. HDS is the CMS. That's the name of the, of the CMS. You can also do backup online through the computer on the Internet Explorer. You can do backup on the DVD burner using a USB DVD burner. And it supports multiple backup formats. It supports AVI and DVR format. These are the specifications of the HDS camera. Right now we have four cameras. We have uh, one fixed bullet, one body focal bullet, one fixed dome, and one body focal dome. All the cameras have the same spec. The only difference is the body focal length and the and the IR and the IR distance. So in this case, it's going to support 1080p, real-time resolution, and 30 frames per second. It supports fixed and body focal, CMOS progressive scan. It supports up to 300-meter cable using uh, RG59. Supports 600-meter using RG6. 200-meter using CAD5E, only using the supply balloon, which that means is that if you're going to use a CAT5 or a CAT6 cable, you have to use the balloon we're going to give you for free with the camera. For each camera you buy, we will give you for free with the camera a video balloon. But you have to use that balloon. And the reason why is because in order to achieve 1080p resolution in an analog cable, we have to, we have to uh, use a different frequency for the video. On the on the previous generation analog video, analog cameras, it was using a lower frequency for the cable. And in this case, we're using a higher frequency to achieve 1080p resolution. So that's why you have to use the video balloon we include on the on the camera. The camera support ICR. It support from 10 to 15 meters IR night vision distance. It supports IP66 waterproof protection. It supports auto color, and of course, lossless video. The dome camera also supports IK10. All the dome cameras are band proof. You can hit the camera with anything, and the camera won't break. Also, here's another another thing. Uh, this technology HDS is not compatible with any or analog, uh, analog video. So in this case, you can upload this camera to an analog DVR. If you buy this camera, you have to use an HDS DVR. If you don't use an HDS DVR, the camera won't work at all. Let me now show you the, the CMS so you can see how the CMS look. Let me, give you, let me show you the presentation for the CMS, and then I will show you a live demonstration of the CMS and the, and the cameras. Give me just one second. Presentation. Okay, here's the CMS. The CMS is called HDS, High Definition Software. These are the features of the CMS. It supports up to 100 cameras per monitor. So you can have five monitors with 100 cameras each monitor. It supports multiple monitors. In this case, the the CMS doesn't have a limit. It's not limited to to, a, to two monitors or anything like that. You can use as many monitors as you want. You can have 
two monitors, five monitors, five, ten, as many as you want. The installation is really simple. It's just one one package. You just click on it. I will install completely. You don't have to use a server. You can use a normal computer, even a laptop. The CMS uh, support remote remote view and playback through the Internet Explorer. It supports EMAP with the alarm information. It supports unlimited user accounts. So you can have up to a thousand, two thousand, as, as many as you want with with the CMS. It supports it support a lock, local lock of the of the CMS. Basic remote configuration of the cameras DVR and MVR, which they, which that means is that you can set up, change the settings of all the cameras DVR and MVR through the CMS without going in person to the DVR. So if you have one camera or one DVR, which is in another country, you don't have to go to that country and change the setting. You can do everything through the CMS. Support alarm management, so you can set up all the alarm and all the configuration on the CMS. It can do backups from the CMS. It, it supports HDS cameras, DVR, and the new MVRs that we're going to be releasing soon. It supports device, device auto report. That's the setting I told you about that you connect the camera or the DVR to the CMS, and if the IP address change, the camera will send the new IP address to the CMS. So that way, it will keep both the CMS and the camera or the DVR link. It support manual recording, schedule recording, and event recording. You can you can record record video on the CMS on the computer. So if you if you want to have a DVR recording and also a backup copy on the computer, you can set up the CMS to record all the video on the computer. It supports alarm video screen notification, which that means is that in case of an alarm, the CMS will give you a pop-up with a video of the alarm. It supports PTC control, digital zoom, local, local alarm and trigger configuration, support dual screen, support local and network storage, so you can have an FTP server or an NAS connected to the CMS for the video, to store the video. It supports device group, support manual, manual picture, so you can take pictures of the camera manually on the CMS. Support audio, uh, two-way audio. And you can also, these features are here, synchronize time if you have 10 DVR and 10 cameras and you need to set up the time to for the for all the DVRs, you don't have to do it manually. All you have to do is go to the CMS, choose all the DVR, and it will automatically sync all the time among all the devices. This is the system requirement for the CMS, Windows 7, 32 and 64 bits, Serbi Park 1, Direct 11 or above, Windows 8. As you can see, the hardware requirement, the CPU, is just a simple CPU, an Intel Core Duo, 2 GB uh, memory, 250 GB hard drive, and an independent graphic card. You have to use an independent graphic card. You cannot use a CPU graphic card. You have to use a physical graphic card for the CMS. Also, this CMS doesn't support Windows XP. You can use Windows XP, but you may find a few glitches or a few errors. And unfortunately, we cannot fix those glitches or errors on Windows XP. And the reason why is because Microsoft, the company that developed Windows XP, is not offering support for Windows XP anymore. So in this case, we cannot support it. This is uh, three monitors. It supports three, four, five, as, as many monitors as you want. This is a control panel of the CMS. 
In here, you can set up the alarm, record and playback, the EMAP, the basic configuration, the users, all that. This is the EMAP. In here, you can have the cameras on the EMAP. You can see the alarm right here on the left side, the right side. So in case of, a, of an alarm, a video will show right here, or you can set up the video to pop up on the screen right here on the middle. It will also give you a pending alarm right here at the bottom, letting you know that there is an alarm, and also the camera will light up and it will show you that there is an alarm. This is the playback on the, of the CMS. It supports search by manual, sensor, and schedule. It also supports full screen. It supports multiple screen mode, so you can have one playback in one screen and another playback in a, in a second screen. It supports local playback or remote playback, which that means is that you can do a playback of the video that is stored on the DVR. You can do the playback from the computer without going to, to the DVR in person. It also supports audio playback, so if you have any audio recording, you can play back that audio. This is alarm management. In here, you can set up all the sensors of the DVR. In this case, the DVR doesn't support sensor. The DVR only support motion, motion alarm at this moment. But the future MVR that we're going to be releasing soon is going to support sensor. So in this case, you can set up all the sensors here on the CMS. It also supports video loss, motion, as I told you before, and the, all the triggers and everything. This is the look of the of the CMS. As you can see, you can you can see everything that happens to the CMS. Everything. If you want to know what a particular user has been doing in the past days, you can go click on the username right here and search for everything that that user do. You can do, you can see the login, the motion, the sensor, the system log, the video loss, the log search, live preview, playback, everything. You can just see everything on this page right here. This is the live preview. This, this is how you're gonna see all the cameras. Here is the menu. And as I told you before, it supports 100 cameras per monitor. So you can have a hundred cameras right here in this monitor. This is the user management. In here, you can set up the user. You can set up the the privilege that you want one user to have. You you can do all that from this page right here. It supports unlimited users. You can also lock an account. So if you have one particular employee that you don't want him to to access the CMS. You can just lock that account, and he won't be able to, to access the CMS. Here is the device management. In here, you can manage all the device. As you can see right here, it supports uh, uh, one IP address. So if you have, if this MVR is in another country, you can add that device to the CMS, and it will work perfect. As you can see, those. Those DVRs right here are in Colombia, and we are in the United States, and they are all working perfect. And I'm going I'm to show you right now how it works. Here is where you set up the group. So you can have a group of cameras or a group of DVR, depending on the, on the country, uh, on the settings that you want to have. In here, you can, do the back, you can do the backup settings, the partition settings, um, the auto computer restart. The auto computer restart is a maintenance for the for the CMS. So if you want the CMS to to restart every a week or a few days, you can set up the auto restart right here. And also when when the CMS restart, it will restart the computer as well. So you put the username of the computer and the password, and when the computer goes back on, it will automatically connect to the CMS again and you won't lose any connection, any video, or anything like that. 
this is the online the online interview I mean the online platform of the of the HDS in here you can do a camera preview and playback and also you can you can set up the group and all that now I'm gonna show you a live demonstration of the CMS so you can see it in person and see how the cameras look this is a CMS right here this camera right here is an HTS 1080p camera as you can see the camera looks exactly as an IP camera just look at the quality right here look at the cars and everything here is the control panel here you can set up the e-map the configuration so let's say for example that you want to change the configuration of one camera you just right click on the camera right here you click on camera configuration you go into the settings and you can change most of the settings of the camera you can change the image video the color the image quality the mainstream the substream the motion detection the PTC the, the local recording the local recording of the CMS you can set up the video loss you see right here this is the lock the local lock that I was telling you about in here you can see everything that has been happening to the CMS so let's say for example that you want to see motion detection you just click on it you click inquire and it will give you a list of all the motion detections I will give you the date time and the user in this case it's not showing any user because I'm using the administrator so that's why it's not showing any user and if you double click on it it will tell you all the details of the alarm as you see right there let me show you the e-map this is the e-map as you can see right here these are the alarms right here on the screen as you can see this is an alarm that is happening right now so if I close all this window you see how it opens it opens back that's because I have an alarm on this camera right here so if you double click on it it will give you the alarm right here if for some reason you don't want to have these screens right here you click on overlap it will open the screen and you can move this screen to any other monitor so you can have camera one in monitor one you can have camera two in another monitor or you can just put it back right here if you want to clear clear the alarm you click on clear all and it will clear, clear all the alarms this is let me show you the playback as you see right here this is the playback you can look by manual by sensor and motion let's click on this one for example as you see right here this is a a night view of the of the HDS camera as you can see on the video it looks exactly as an IP camera the video is really clear you can see all the details and everything you can cut the video so if you want to export uh, let's say 10 seconds of video you just click here then you click here again and then you click here and it will export the video to any folder that, that you want so you look for the folder on the computer and you save it this is a type of alarm that I was telling you before green means manual manual recording blue means scared recording in this case this recording in blue was made yesterday and this one right here was manual I was, was also yesterday I'm gonna show you right now uh, let me show you an IP camera so you can see the difference 
This is an IP camera that I have outside. As you can see, it looks exactly as the HCS camera. You see, there is no difference in video. They both look the same, same quality. I also have another camera. Let me see if I can show you that camera, which is a three megapixel camera. I want to. I will show you that one so you can see that there is no difference in video. As you can see right here, this is a three megapixel camera. This is a PTC camera, three megapixel. And as you see on the video, there is no difference. The quality is the same, the video is the same, all the colors and everything is exactly the same. Of course, the 3 megapixel one is going to have a little more detail in the, in the image. Here is the preview. So let me show you how you can see the 100 cameras on a different monitor. So let's say, for example, that you want to have this on another monitor, you just click on it. You drag it outside, and then you can move it, you see? You can move it to another monitor. So you can put these 100 cameras on one monitor, then you can have another 100 cameras in another monitor. And if you want to put it back, you just click right here. You click on Tab View, and it will go back to the CMS. We also have the, the user manual here on the CMS. So if for some reasons you don't know how to do something, you just click. Let me show you right here. What is it? Uh, I cannot see it because it's right here. It's, it's, <laughs> it's behind the this shirt right here, so that's why I cannot see it. But if you want to see the, the, the manual, you just click in here and you can see the user manual. Here at the bottom, you can see what user is using the CMS at that moment. You can see the CPU is using, the memory is using, date and time, and the port that the CMS is using. Also, you click here, and you can see all the alarms right here. You can move them up and down. Or you can put it bigger if you want right here, and you see everything. This camera right here is an HDS camera, 1080p. This camera is in Colombia right now, and as you can see, I can monitor the camera from here without problems, without network problems, or anything like that. This is the live preview of the camera. So, if, for example, if I want to talk to this person right here, all I have to do is right-click. I click on where it says Start Talk. I, I can talk to the person. So right now I'm talking right here, and he's probably hearing everything I'm telling you, I'm saying right now. So that's basically that's that's a new technology that we're going to be releasing soon, the HTS the HTS platform. So if you have any questions, any doubt, please go ahead and and ask me now for any question that you may have, or if you want to see any settings or if you want me to show you something else just let me know right now and i can show you everything you you, you may you may need to see okay amelia we're going to start with anna